You gotta put some clothes on. I can barely teach my people because all I'm seeing is titties and all I'm seeing is booty. Cover up. Put some goddamn clothes on. Wait a minute, God said no whores of the black and Hispanic race. No whores. No whores. That's why y'all are future cat ladies. You're gonna be a future dog mom. That's what you're gonna be. I'm talking about I'm weak, your father weak. He let you leave the house like I never, ever, ever let my daughter leave the house like that. Over my dead body, she can leave the house like that. Over her mother's dead body, she can leave the house like that. And ain't gonna be my house, she leaving like that. You sisters gotta go on yourself in modest apparel. A modest apparel. Cover your behind up. Cover your breast up. Put a dress on. Sisters, because we out here with our titties out. We out here with our booties out. We out here dressing like prostitutes, sis. Put some clothes on. Put some clothes on. And you wonder why 64,000 black women are missing every year? Because you gotta keep the commandment. Give me Proverbs, what he say? Get that to him. Hold that. Proverbs. Now, do we saying that because we hate you? No. We saying that because the Bible say that. Cover up. Cover your behind up. Put some damn clothes on. The hell wrong with y'all? Read. Proverbs chapter 23 and verse 27. For a whore is a deep ditch. I said a whore is a deep ditch. You can throw a hot dog in that deep ditch and it's going to say, hello, 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 Like a cave. God said it's like a deep ditch. That's what a whore is. So now, you don't want to be a whore, sis. Keep it real. You don't want to be a thot. You know what a thot means? That hoe out there. Don't be out there. Cover up. Put some clothes on. Because, give me, hold on. First Timothy 2 and, two and uh, what's the name? About modest apparel. Because y'all got to put some clothes on. I can barely teach my people because all I'm seeing is titties and all I'm seeing is booty. Cover up. Put some goddamn clothes on. Put, would your father be happy with how you dressing right now? He saw your leader out. He's a weak man. That's weak. That's weak. Now, real talk, if you get missing like uh, Mercedes Dior, what's that, what's that lady in Houston? What's that, Houston? what's that lady in Houston that got weak and that got missing for dressing like a thought on Instagram? With more than 2 million followers, is found murdered in Richmond. And tonight, police say they don't know or don't rather have a motive, but the suspect is dead too. Our Grace White is following the case. Her name was Miss Mercedes Moore. At least that's what she goes by on Instagram, where she has more than 2 million followers. Her real name, Janae Gagnier, now dead at 33. We pulled in while everybody was still here and the police were here and the people were grieving. Neighbors at the apartment complex in Richmond on West Point Circle shocked Sunday evening to see a crime scene. This lady did pass away that she was killed and really that's all that we know. And much about the case is still a mystery. Richmond police are the lead. All they've said so far, they believe it was a murder-suicide. The medical examiner says she was strangled to death. Found with her was 34-year-old Kevin Accordo. The ME says he died by suicide from multiple sharp force trauma. Certainly we're going to be praying for a family. We just we know that it's a, a tragedy for the whole community. A tragedy where there's still no known motive. Police say her family told detectives there was no relationship between the two, but there was no forced entry. Investigators confirmed his address in Florida, leaving family and friends to wonder if she was stalked on social media. But when we asked Richmond police told us it's all still under investigation. Grace White, KHOU 11 News. Do you know, listen, listen, real talk. Listen, I'm, I'm very strong. Why? Because I'm out here prophesying. Now, let me show you something. This is what the Bible said. This ain't just my words. First Timothy 
weak. Chapter 2 and verse 9. Talking about I'm weak. Your father weak. He let you leave the house. I never, ever, ever yeah. let my daughter leave the house like that. Yeah. Over my dead body, she can leave the house like that. Right. Over her mother dead bodies, then she can leave the house like that. It ain't gonna be my house she leaving like that. Because I'm a real man. I'm an old school man. I'm young, but I'm old school. Read what you got. First Timothy chapter 2 and verse 9. In like manner also that women adorn themselves in modest apparel. Women gotta adorn themselves in modest apparel. Women wearing pants is not modest apparel. Okay. Sister, brother, women wearing pants is a new phenomenon on this earth. Well, your mother ain't wearing pants when she was younger. Your grandmother ain't wearing pants when she was younger. Y'all started wearing pants during the 70s era, the late 60s, early 70s when the bell bottoms came out. When Don Cornelius was on the dance floor. That's when y'all started wearing uh, pants. During the soul train. That's very, that's very short. The hell with y'all. We know the history. Would you read what you got? In like manner also that women adorn themselves in modest apparel. You sisters gotta adorn yourself in modest apparel. A modest apparel. Cover your behind up. Cover your breast up. Put a dress on. Cover up. Read. With shamefacedness. With shamefacedness. Not out here shaking your ass. Hey, that ain't shamefacedness. That's being a hoe. That's where the term thought came from. That hoe out there. Oh, that hoe over there. That hoe over We came up with that term. That's my generation. We came up with that. that and, that's what, and you know what? It's very fitting. Read. And sobriety. And with sobriety. Ain't out here being sober. Why? Because we're making the job of the police just a little bit easier. We're teaching out the Bible. We're teaching sobriety. We're teaching righteousness. That way we don't got to get locked up and go to the precinct. You understand me? We out here for the greater good. We out here to teach you Israelites that you are the Israelites. You so-called blacks and Hispanics. That's who we are, bro. You know, according to the Bible, you was a future ruler. You are the current ruler of this earth. But you are in slavery because of your sins, bro. You understand me? That's why we fell as a people. Now, read what you got. Not with braided hair, or gold, or pearls, or costly array. Now, when God said not with braided hair, clothes, or costly array, does that mean you can't braid your hair? Of course you can braid your hair. Does that mean your clothes got to be cheap? Nah, your clothes don't got to be cheap. It's talking about don't be conceited. You know how it is when y'all get your hair done. Y'all real conceited. God said don't be conceited out here. Read. Meaning adorn yourself with good things. The laws of God. Not with what you got on and how you look. Read. But which becometh women professing godliness. You see that? Women professing godliness. Not out here dotting, getting phone numbers so you can get ran through. So you can catch the latest variant. And I ain't talking about COVID. I'm talking about the latest variant of HIV. The latest variant of gonorrhea. Some of y'all got anal warts. Some of y'all got syphilis. That's the latest variant I'm talking about. You want to come out here and smash. Oh, yeah, you're going to catch crabs. That's what God say. Read. Keep your bullshit. Oh, that don't hurt my feelings. I must have hurt your feelings. That's why you came back and threw it. Read. Deuteronomy. Chapter 23 and verse 17. There shall be no whore. God said there shall be no whore. No whore. That's a whore right there. God said there shall be no whore. Read. Of the daughters of Israel. If you fit the 12 tribes of Israel, blacks and Hispanic women, God said no whores of the black and Hispanic race. No whores. No whores. That's why y'all are future cat ladies. You're going to be your future dog mom. That's what you're going to be. You're going to be single forever. Keep playing out here. Read. No. Like, like Drake said. Drake said he don't want a wife for thought. Read. Nor a sodomite of the sons of Israel. I said no homosexuals are the sons of Israel. Now my man, why you want to walk behind him like that? You can walk through the camera. Don't be disrespectful. Don't disrespect us out here. Be respectful. You understand me? Be, dis be respectful out here. 
Listen, listen. Y'all may not like what we're going to say, but y'all going to respect this out here. That's what's going to happen. You're going to respect the words of God. Now, read what you got. You came back because you know the Bible's right. You know it's right. You know you're wrong. You know you ain't supposed to be dressing like that. Now, what you got to say? I'm listening to him, but I'm listening to him. Come on. Are you wrong? Why, why can I judge? 1 Corinthians 6 and 2. Guess what? Listen. You said, thou shalt not judge. Thou shalt not judge. God, God, God gave me the authority to judge 20 grown men. No, God called you a whore. I can see your thigh. That's some whore stuff. God said that is whore dumb. Let me say, let me ask you something. Do you have a husband? No, no, I didn't say a man. I said, do you have a husband? Okay, so that's your fiance, right? Okay, no, no, it's either he is or he's not. Y'all out here playing games. So, would your fiance want you dressed like that? What if I was a wicked man? I try to get your number. What if I try to? No, what? I'm, I'm just saying. Okay, not me. What if a man, another man, try to get your number? Is that righteous? Why? Because look how you dress. That's why they try to get your number. All right, you said it's all in the face. No, it's not. Come on. First Corinthians chapter six and verse two. Do ye not know that the saints? Shall judge the world. The saints are going to judge the world. You said God cannot judge. That's not in the Bible. That's in the book of Tupac. That's in the book of Tupacalypse. That's in the book of Tupac. All eyes on me. That's not the Holy Bible. I'm not a baby. I'm a grown man. You understand me? Now, you said that thou shalt not judge. Do you know what it is? You're getting condemnation confused with judgment. I cannot condemn you. But I can judge you according to God's words. I don't have a hell to put you in. I don't have a heaven to keep you out of. I cannot condemn you, but I can judge you according to the words of God. I can judge you with righteous judgment. No, we're not done with that. We're not, don't run up, don't, don't, read that, read that, there we go. First Corinthians chapter 6 and verse 2. Do ye not know that the saints shall judge the world? I said the saints shall judge the world, read. And if the world shall be judged by you, are ye not unworthy to judge the smallest matters? I said if we're going to judge the world, are we not, is it not unworthy to judge the smallest matters? The way you dress, that's a small matter. That's a small matter. You should be ashamed of your damn self. You know the Bible talks about you? I'm going to show you. Go to, hold that. Go to Proverbs chapter 7. God said that a whore is loud and she's stubborn. You are in the spirit of whoredom. Do you know why? Because I'm a man. I can be loud. You can't be loud. My wife would never be out here in another man's face. I'm going to show you that you a whore. Proverbs chapter 7. Uh, start at verse 9. Proverbs chapter 7 and verse 9. In the twilight, in the evening, in the dark, in the black and dark night. Are we not in a black dark night? That's where whores is found. Whores are found in a black dark night. King Solomon prophesied about you whores. Read. And behold, there met him a woman with the attire of an harlot. What you got on, that's the attire of a harlot. That's the clothes of a whore. In the black dark night, King Solomon said you're going to find women with the clothes of a whore. Lo and behold, King Solomon was talking about you thousands of years ago. Read. And subtle of heart. And you real subtle of heart. You try to trip us up. Oh, God said that you cannot judge. We can judge according to the words. We cannot condemn you according to God's words. Leave her alone. She a grown woman. And she want to hear she can hear. I'm already in hell. This is hell. Captivity. But guess what? I'm going to live longer than you. Read. She is loud and stubborn. God said a whore is loud. God said a whore is loud. And she's stubborn. And she's stubborn. You stubborn. And you loud. Read. Her feet abide not in her house. The whore is not going to be home. She's going to be in twilight in the dark, thick night with the cloud, with the attire of a whore, being loud and being stubborn in men's faces, telling men, prophets of God, what the Bible say. Read. No, no, read on. Now is she without. Now in the streets and lieth in wait at every corner. I said at night, you can find a whore at every corner. What she got? No, I, I, you know what? 
I offended you. Hey, she said you call her father. What you say about your father? Okay, I'm listening. Can we have the mic? Can we have the mic? I tried to give it to you earlier. No, you playing games. Go, go step over there. I'm talking to her. You playing games. You playing games. Go ahead. I'm, I'm, I'm taking I'm taking her serious. I ain't taking you serious. Okay. What was wrong? My delivery. Uh-huh. Your father. Okay. You know it. But you didn't say that earlier. You didn't say that earlier. You didn't say that earlier. So now, your dad said, put some clothes on before you left the house, right? And now, she said it's not what we saying that it's the delivery. Right? She said it's the delivery. Isaiah 58 verse 1. Isaiah! You're a whore. Chapter 58 and verse 1. I'm going to address the delivery part because y'all wonder why we out here yelling. Because we don't give it that. We're not sparing not near one of y'all feelings. I don't care how you feel about it. I'm going to teach the Bible. Read. Isaiah chapter 58 and verse 1. You ain't never seen a black man this bold, this strong, this loud. Read. Except for Malcolm X. And they killed him. And they probably going to kill us. And we don't give a damn out here. Read. Cry aloud. Spare not. God said cry aloud and don't spare not near one of their feelings. We don't give a damn what you say. We don't give a damn what you think. We care what God said. God said cry aloud. Cry aloud like a trumpet and spare not near one of their feelings. You dress like a whore. You dress like a whore. You dress like a thot. And your father weak. Your father weak. And your father weak. And you know it's right. You know it's right. That's why you came back. Lift up thy voice. Don't play with us because we know what the Bible say. Read. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet and show my people their transgressions. God says show his people their transgressions. The people of God are the blacks and the Spanish. We showing you your transgressions. I don't give a damn how you feel about it. You Hispanic women, guess what? God said you are the Israelites. Deuteronomy 22 and 5, you ain't gonna seduce me. You ain't gonna calm me down. You ain't gonna quiet me down. I don't, you ain't gonna seduce me. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 22 and verse 5. Read it out. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. God said women shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Do you wear pants throughout the week? I'm sure you do. You ain't supposed to be wearing that. Men supposed to wear pants. Pants was made for men, not women. That's why y'all get yeast infections. That's why y'all get that's why y'all get yeast infections. Now read on. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. Likewise, you men that like to cross dress, you can't cross dress out here either. Read. For all that do so are an abomination. If you dress like a whore. Men dress like women, women dress like men, like what Russell Westbrook did, like what Kanye West did, like what little Nas X does, is abomination. God hates that thing. Yeah, God hates that thing. God hates whore. Read. For all that do so are an abomination. Hold that, give me Isaiah 3, let's start at verse 6. Isaiah 3, matter of fact, start at verse 14, and we're going to walk down. Come on. Now, when you humble yourself, I'm going to humble myself. But as long as you keep coming against the words of God, you, ain't, you cannot fight against the words of God. Read. Isaiah chapter 3 and verse 12. As for my people, as for the blacks and Hispanic people, children are their oppressors. You know who oppress you in the hood? Little kids. They gangbang. They carjack you on the streets. They shoot you. They kill you. Children oppress you. God know who his people is. God talking to you, the blacks and Hispanics. Read. And guess what? Y'all are future mothers of oppressors. Read. And women rule over them. And God said women rule over you, black men. These loud mouth whores out here, they rule you. They your mothers. They your big sisters. Yeah, they do what you say. That's why half of y'all are offended because these are your mamas. I bet you some of them got only fans out here. And they mad that we calling them whores. God called them a whore. Look how you dress. Look what you do. Now you ain't feeling it, but that's okay. God said the way you dress, that's what you are. God said you could know a man by his look. Read. Oh, my people, which they which lead thee, cause thee to err and destroy the way of thy path. Now, verse 16. Verse 16. Moreover, 
the Lord saying. Because the daughters of Moreover, the Lord said, if we ain't speaking our words, God said y'all dress like whores out here. All of y'all. Read. Are haughty. God said, because the daughters of Zion are haughty. Do you know what it means to be haughty? Conceited, loud, arrogant. Ain't that the attributes of a whore? Aren't they not conceited? Aren't they not loud? Aren't they not arrogant? You're not even my type. You can't get my number. I don't want your goddamn number. Read. And walk with stretched forth neck. You know what it means to walk with a stretched forth neck? That means you got your nose in the air. You stuck up. Y'all some stuck up whores out here. Read. And wanton eyes. And wanton lustful eyes. Wanton lustful eyes. Wanting means lustful. A lot of y'all lustful. You dress like that because you ready to cheat on your fiance. You dress like that because you looking for a man. And you know it's true. You dress like that because you trying to trap the next man up. Read. Walking and mincing as they go. You know what it means to walk and mince as they go? You walk and stomp your feet. You mince as you go. Loud. Mincing your high heels. Read. And make a tinkling with their feet. Why are you, why are you trying to talk to him? He ain't teaching, I'm teaching. Read. Therefore, the Lord will smite with the scab the crown of the head. You know why a lot of y'all wear weave? Do you know why a lot of y'all wear weave? You wear weave because God smote the crown of your head because of your haughtiness. God knew that the daughters of Zion, the black and Hispanic women, mainly the black women, are haughty. Walk with lustful eyes. So God said in the last days, he's going to smite the crown of your head. That's why more black women than, more, than not suffer from alopecia. That's very true. That's why y'all wear weaves that come from idol gods. In India, when they go to the temples and the temples of Shiva and shave their hair, that's where weave come from. Weave come from Indian men and women. Weave comes from horse hair. You understand that? Go back. What you mean go back? Sir? You ever seen a documentary with Chris Bro uh, Rock? Weave comes from Shiva. Weave comes from idolatry worshippers in India. Now read. Verse 17. Therefore, the Lord will smite with the scab, the crown of the head, the daughters of Zion. That's why, guess what? God smote the crowns of your head. That's why your head don't grow too long. Read. And the Lord will discover their secret parts. And God said he ain't finished. He gonna discover your, street, your secret parts. That's why y'all stink your head. She in Arabian. Don't listen to her. She in Arabian. This ain't for her anyway. That's why God smote y'all secret parts. A lot of y'all coochies out here stink. Y'all are stinking out here. That's why y'all get yeast infections. That's why y'all got chlamydia, STIs, STDs. Read. And guess what? She know damn well she can't dress like that in Saudi Arabia. They come over here to America and dress like that. They know that the men over there in the Middle East ain't playing that. She know that the men in the Middle East ain't playing that. You know who allows that to happen? The white race. You can't go, you can't dress like that under, under Shari Sharia law. You understand that? Read. And that day, the Lord will take away the bravery of their tinkling ornaments. I said he took away the bravery of your tinkling ornaments. Read. About their feet. Because y'all used to be decked out. You wonder why you like looking fly? You always look fly, fly in the Bible. But God took away your bravery. He took away your money. He took away your resources. Why? Because you are hot teeth. Y'all are loud. Y'all are arrogant. Men can't tell you nothing. Y'all have no accountability. I get on these brothers all day for hustling up and down the streets. And you know what they say? You know what? We right. We, I should get a job. I know what I'm doing is wrong. As soon as I get on y'all for dressing like whores, this is what happens. Y'all get loud. Y'all get combative. Y'all don't want to hear nothing. <laughs> Women have no accountability. Y'all hate getting got on. But yeah, you want to say men are lazy. And these no good. You ain't shit. My baby daddy ain't nothing. Y'all talk about men all day long. As soon as a man get on you, you can't take it. Read. And their coals and their round tires like the moon. The chains and the bracelets and the mufflers. Chapter verse 24. Verse 24. And it shall come to pass. In the future prophecy, it shall come to pass. Read. That instead of sweet smell. I used to smell good instead of sweet smell. It's all right. Let these whores walk off. We ain't worried about that. God only coming to call the righteous. 
But one out of three of y'all is going to be called. That's what we worried about. Y'all don't want to hear about the word of God. Go. Scoff. Scoff somewhere else. Find you a different person to listen to. We don't give a damn. We out here for those that's going to hear the word of God. We're not sparing not near one of y'all. Read. And it shall come to pass that instead of a sweet smell, thou shall be stink. Say that again. Read that again. And instead, and it shall come to pass that instead of a sweet smell, I used to smell very good. Very few of y'all smell good. Very few of y'all smell good. Read. Thou shall be stink. God prophesied that in your private parts, there shall be stink. Why? Because you want to wear pants all goddamn day. Women are not designed to wear pants. They got to breathe. Your mom ever told you when you sleep, take the pants off so you can breathe down there, baby? You never heard that before? That's how you get complications down there. You get complications. You keep wearing pants, especially tight pants where you can't breathe. It can get so bad, guess what? You can have child uh, bearing issues. And you know it's true. You know it's true. God knows who he's talking about. He's talking about you. So now, you can either say, you know what, God, what you're saying is true. I'm going to do what you say. Or you can fight and say, oh, you can make all the excuses in the world. And guess what? You're going to die here in America with your sins. Read on. And instead of a girdle, a rent. Instead of a belt, meaning y'all used to weigh uh, a decent shape. Y'all used to have a de decent shape Coke bottle. God said a rent. Meaning you're going to rent your clothes. Meaning overweight. That's why a lot of our sisters are old. A lot of our sisters weigh too much. A lot of y'all are built like linebackers out here, trying to jump in our face. You saw that muffin tops, ill built out here. Come on, man. Get yourselves together. Read. And instead of well set hair, baldness. I said instead of well set hair, baldness. Now you wonder why the black woman is bald. Why? Because of disobedience to the one true God. The one true God. That's why. Say y'all used to be beautiful. Now y'all busted. That's what God say. He reduced you to nothing. Why? Because of your disobedience. Now give me Titus chapter two again. Titus chapter two. We're not done with these sisters out here. I'm gonna get on you brothers in a second, but it's the sister time. Y'all gotta get yourself together. This is the word of God. Get yourself together. Y'all need some more accountability. Right. You need more men in your household. That's why your fathers were supposed to be there. That's why your husband's supposed to be there. So that way you don't got to come on the street and hear a preacher tell it to you. You got to hear your daddy, your father tell it to you. Moses smoked weed. Show me that in the Bible, bro. Y'all throw things out here and say that Moses smoked weed. Where have we spoke about weed this whole time? Y'all got to get your mind right. The black man, y'all are crazy. Y'all jump from topic to topic, woman to woman. Your wife leads you. That's why your wife walk up first and then you walk behind. That's why your fathers are weak. And you know your daddy weak. That's why you don't listen to your dad. You understand me, sis? Take that flyer. Read. Titus chapter 2 and verse 3. The aged women likewise, that they be in behavior as becometh holiness. Now you got to be in behavior as becometh holiness, preacher's daughter. Holiness, preacher's daughter. You understand me? Women got to be in behavior that's coming with holiness, big bro. You understand that? I'm talking to the Israelites, blacks and the Spanish, bro. You a king. You understand me? God made you a ruler on this earth. Wake up, black man. Wake up. Read. Not false accusers. Not giving too much wine. Bro, get out that woman's ear, man. You acting like a simp. That's simp behavior. Come on, what the Bible say? What the Bible say? Yo, you in her ear like a simp. We trying to teach, man. You off in the side. Y'all go do that over there, man. If you don't want to hear the word of God, go ahead and go. Read. I said, no. Hurt you. Hurt you. Hurt you. Hurt you. What about her truth? Okay. Okay. But listen. Listen. The truth. What's, what about the Bible? What about the truth? What about the truth that the black. I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the blacks, Hispanics, all the children of Israel. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Well, go ahead and die then. Read. Anybody don't want to repent, all y'all going to die. That's what the Bible say. You're talking about you want to hear about that. Read. Titus. No, no, you can't see the mic. You know why? Because you don't want to hear what God got to say. Read. Titus chapter 2 and verse 3. The aged women likewise, that they be in behavior as becometh holiness. And you see, you got Satan on you. That's why you're over here in the woman's ear like a simp. Hey, sis, 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 sis. That's the 
the attributes of a simp. Don't save her, she don't want to be saved. You ever heard that song? Don't save her, she don't want to be saved. Worry about yourself. Only you can get yourself in the kingdom of heaven. You understand me? Read. Not false. That's why she's pulling you that way because she perceived you as that. Oh, come on. I'm, okay, so you a man? I'm a man too. I deal with men. So now. All right, I'm going to talk like a man. All right. Since you're not a simp, I apologize, bro. No, I, I'm going to keep it moving. Read. Why am I a simp? Come on. Not giving too much wine. Teachers of good things. You know why? Because you're not teaching women good things. You, you understand that? You, did you tell her what the Bible say? Now, let's get what the Bible say. Hold that. Jump the first one. Y'all not controlling the, the conversation out here. You can talk only if you're talking intellectual. But guess what? We're talking the words of God. So when God speak, read. Titus chapter 2 and verse 1. But speak thou the things which become sound doctrine. God says speak the things that become sound doctrine. Sound doctrine can be found in the Holy Bible. That's what Proverbs 4 and 2 says. Sound doctrine is the laws of God. Read. That the aged men be sober. You see that the aged men shall be sober. Are you sober right now? Have you been drinking? Did you drink earlier? Did you drink earlier? Why your eyes low? God said the aged men got to be sober. 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 Not high, not drunk, not depressed. Sober. Temperate. Read. Grave. You gotta be serious out here. You see how we serious? We very serious about God's words. You said it's gotta cover up. You understand me? Stop dressing like whores out here. And these men that allow y'all to dress like that, they simps. Read. Temperate. Sound in faith. Hey, I bet you a hundred dollars I ain't soft. Read. In charity. In patience. The aged women. Likewise, the aged women likewise. Read. No, no, go back to the men. We ain't done with the men. Back to the men. Go to the front. You talk shit about me, right? I can't talk though. Titus chapter two and verse two. That the aged men be sober. See that you gotta be sober, serious, very serious out here. Come on. Brave, temperate, sound in faith. Sound in faith. Very sound in faith. You understand what I'm saying to you? You gotta be sound in faith. He ain't gonna do nothing. I'm not worried about a truck, I ain't worried about him. Now, hold, show him what the faith is. Romans 10 and 17. Romans 10 and 17. I never met anybody as hard with a mouth. Never. Romans 10 17. Romans chapter 10, verse 17. So then faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. See that hearing by the word of God. You got to hear by the word of God. What, wisdom of Solomon chapter 5 verse 1. Wisdom of Solomon chapter 5 verse 1. Come on. Watch what you're following. Now the reason why we got a mic is we're trying to reach all our people out here. Read. Wisdom of Solomon chapter 5 and verse 1. Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness. I said the righteous man going to stand in great boldness. You, you can never do what we do without keeping God's laws. That's right. You see that? That's why the wicked flee when no man pursue it, but the righteous are bold as a lion. You don't see me walking down the block. You walking down the block because you know what God's saying is true. Read. Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness before the face of such as have afflicted him. You say that we saw, but we out here prophesying against the man that enslaved us. Not long ago, they was lynching us in Texas for what we're saying right now. You understand me? Read. And made no account of his labors. And made no account of his labor. They don't take what we're saying serious. But guess what? The people do. That's why they clear the block. They know what we're saying is true. Brother, you understand what we're saying is true? God said that if you suffered slavery and colonialism, you are the 12 tribes of the nation of Israel. Right. It don't matter who say it. Who feel the type of way. You understand me? Read. When they see it, they shall be troubled with terrible fear. Be troubled with terrible fear. Now, an intelligent brother, an intelligent sister would say, You saying that I'm an Israelite? Show me out the Bible how I'm an Israelite. Right? Because I'm saying that of all the nations of the earth, you descend from Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Because you're not going to find black, you're not going to find African American in the Holy Bible. You ain't going to find that. You ain't going to find it. Read what you got. Deuteronomy chapter 10 and verse 12. 
And now, Israel, what doth the Lord thy God require of thee? But to fear the Lord thy God. God requires you to fear the Lord thy God. We don't fear man out here. I don't give a damn what a man say. He can say whatever he want. He ain't going to touch us, though. And when he do touch us, God allowed it to happen. Read. To walk in all his ways. We got to walk in all God's ways. No matter who feel any type of way about it. Read. And to love him. And you got to love the Lord your God. Don't love no woman more than God. You let your woman come out here dressed any type of way. Why? Because you don't love God. You love her more than God. That's some simp behavior. Read. And to serve the Lord thy God. You gotta serve the Lord thy God. Serve him. Read. With all thy heart and with all thy soul. Serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul. Serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul. Read. To keep the commandments of the Lord. You got to keep the commandments of the Lord. Read. And his statutes. Which you got to keep the statutes of the Lord thy God. Keep his statutes. Read. Which I command thee this day. For Man, I hope you came back with your mind right. You good now? You good now? Are you good? So why you come? Don't come back here with Satan. I'm telling you straight. Don't come back here trying to tempt the Lord. Because I'm going to show you what a real man of God is in a second. You keep playing with us, man. Read what you got. You, come, you keep talking greasy, guess what? We're going to have some issues. But if you want to come over here and listen to the word of God, we're going to be cool. But come over here humble. Watch what you're saying to us, though. I'm telling you straight. Read what you got. Deuteronomy. You're damn right. I'm a prophet. I'm a God. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 10 and verse 13. Hear God, hear God, and guess what? Your dumb ass is a God. You just don't know it yet. Show them that in the law, God said that we are gods. God said that we are gods. Psalms chapter 82 verse 6. And guess what? Jesus Christ, the black Messiah, he said that we are gods. But we shall die like men. You know why? Because we want to come out here and shave our face. We want to come out here and let our women wear anything they want to wear. You want to speak against brothers that's trying to teach you something. You never come against a white man like that. On your job, you don't disrespect the white man, so he ain't going to disrespect us. Don't come over here disrespecting God's house. God said keep your foot when you come in the house of God. Keep your foot. Watch what you say and watch what you do around us. Why? Because you're going to account for it in the eyes of God. That's why. So watch what you're saying, bro. Read. Psalms chapter 82 and verse 6. I have said, ye are gods. God said ye are gods. Black men, Hispanic men, we are gods. Read. And all of you are children of the Most High. And guess what? All 12 tribes are children of the Most High. That's why you need a mother. You black and Hispanic, you are the children of the Most High. Blacks and Hispanics are the children of the Most High. Ain't black men, Hispanic men, we are gods on this earth. That's right. Read. But ye shall die like men. The word but means, although you are gods, ye shall die like men. You're going to die like the other nations. Why? Because our kryptonite is sin. Sin is why we die. We were not enslaved and sold in shackles and chains because this man was so great. We did that because God took away our power. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.